good afternoon everyone here as a former student i feel greatly uh, pleasure to address you people here first of all i wish to thank everyone who made this possible like my parents teachers teachers both from allen and pavai and the administration and the, our director sir and our, and our center head prem shah sir and the previous center head santosh sir and everyone else and i have divided my speech into three parts the first one is will is is dealing uh, dealing with your studies the second one is about dealing with your exams and the third one is about motivation so dealing with studies so uh, uh, what i think is that instead of saying what you must do i feel it's better to say what i did and uh, you can devise your own way of doing thing um mm, uh, speaking about the books uh, i read the i gave more importance to ncrd books and the books provided by allen career institute and uh, and the notes uh, i took during classes especially in chemistry and uh, some previous year books of some previous year questions and uh, what i feel is that uh, many people uh, read a uh, lots of books for uh, every subject and uh, well, i personally feel that it's it just consumes a lot of time without providing uh, much uh, information and uh, you have to find your own way of studying some prefer studying late night and some choose to study early morning i uh, i preferred studying late night and you can discuss uh, how to uh, how to uh, utilize your time efficiently with your teachers to find a suitable way like i, I one day i was uh, i was planning to prepare for kvpi and i wanted to have a specific plan for it and i uh, i asked satyajit sir about uh, how should i go for uh, kvpi and he asked me to read ncrts and some specific lessons in ncrts and that and that uh, made me uh, made it uh, very easy to clear that exam and uh, and uh, the other day i asked shanan sir about how many hours he himself studied to clear iit and he replied that instead of focusing on the number of hours you should study okay, uh, read some, i mean make a plan of completing some lessons by these days it's a very simple idea but it's it has very uh, deep impact like many of us uh, sp spend uh, lots of hours studying uh, very few chapters and feel satisfied that we have spent some 4 hours 5 hours for this but actually we have not studied much so uh, uh, having a goal of studying specific chapters by uh, by the end of some time would 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 be a better idea and for uh, physics i focused on solving problems for chemistry uh, i was focusing on reading notes and solving some questions and and for biology i preferred reading more and some some other few few tips are focus on remembering uh, things on a long run uh, actually uh, as we have to write the exam after, at the end of two years you know instead of focusing on uh, remembering them for the next day or the the for the upcoming test we should uh, focus on remembering them for a long period of time and doubts always uh, don't hesitate to ask doubts to your teachers it will really help us to clear our, our concepts and may, and it will also lead to some really interesting discussions which will develop make you develop a liking towards your subject and finally you have to read and uh, there's no substitute for it you have got to uh, do it and uh, second thing dealing with exams and uh, as i saw with my classmates and uh, sometimes i too you know, when we have an exam by the end of the week or or uh, maybe next week uh, we tend to ignore the uh, cl classes of the present week and uh, just prepare for the tests and uh, we, we don't revise our notes during those weeks and just they just accumulate in the end okay you you should remember that we are preparing for the final exam and uh, we should uh, revise the notes of every notes to no notes taken every day by that day itself and during the days before exam on the day of exam it is important to remain stress free just cramming uh, trying to cram everything the day before exam won't help us much and it also doesn't help us in a long run we have we have read every two three 
maybe five or six lessons too for, uh, for the tomorrow's exam, and by the end of the exam, we would have forgot everything we would learn. It, it's useless, even for exams and as well as our, our life. And, and to remain stress-free, our internal tests will help us a lot in that. And the order of attempting uh, subjects is every, everyone's personal choice. I, per, I preferred starting with bio, chemistry, and then finally with physics. And uh, as, as soon as we see the questions, we should uh, try to analyze the questions fast. And uh, if we find the question difficult, or uh, the, if the question is from the lessons we, uh, we, uh, we are not good at, or, or uh, uh, some difficult le lessons, we should uh, just move on to the next question and try to do them And at the end if we find time. And the, coming to the third thing, motivation. Staying mo motivated during the course is a very important thing. There will be many ups and downs throughout. But don't forget to analyze them. When you go down, think what brought you down. And when you score higher than what you usually do, think about what made you uh, get that, that high marks. And uh, always uh, speak to your inner self in a positive way. Uh, many people. Uh, say to we just uh, okay we speak to ourselves that we are not good enough to do it we are, we won't be able to do it okay we messed everything up if we okay if we believe uh, we can't do it we won't do it we just motivate your, yourself external motivation just lasts for some two three days we have to develop our inner inner motivation we have to st start motivating ourselves. And uh, qualifying exams is a secondary thing. Just make sure that when you come out of the exam hall, exam hall, you don't have any regrets and you feel that you have gave your best and will and you'll be expecting the best. And and that's it. I wish you a prosperous, successful, and most importantly, a happy new year ahead. Thank you. And thank you, Ravi Bharati, for your story of success. And let me tell you one thing that today, you are an inspiration for many aspiring candidates. And thank you for that. Let's give a big round of applause to Ravi Bharati.